Anthropic just released a brand new AI model that's going to save you tons of cash and get you so much more value. Check this out. They just introduced Haiku 4.5. And for those who don't know, Anthropic pretty much has three different levels of models. Opus being their most expensive, their slowest, but the super smart one, like the, the genius level, you get the best results model. Sonnet, which is kind of their bread and butter right in the middle, pretty fast, really smart, all right priced. And then you have Haiku, which is their brand new model they just released. They just updated it to 4.5 from 3.5, their previous version. And it is super fast. It is pretty smart, smart enough, and it is priced really well. What I'm gonna cover in this video is this brand new version of the model I just released, Haiku 4.5. I'm gonna show you how to build an entire app with it. I'm gonna show you all the strengths of Haiku. I'm gonna show you all the weaknesses. And by the end of the video, you're gonna know how to build amazing things with Haiku, and when is the right time to use Haiku over Sonnet and Opus. So this is where Haiku stacks up with software engineering. It is right behind Sonnet 4.5, which I think is the best coding model ever made. I have gotten such unbelievable results in Claude code using Sonnet 4.5. So it is right behind Sonnet 4.5, which is actually mind blowing because it is a third of the price of Sonnet 4.5. It is stronger than Sonnet 4, which was the previous model from Anthropic. And it looks like it is just behind GPT-5 Codex, which is a great model. I just prefer Sonnet. And while I had a GPT-5 and Gemini 2.5 Pro, which is, come on, like Google, you got to release a new model soon. We've been on 2.5 Pro for like four years now in AI term. Looking at some other benchmarks here from Claude Haiku, it, it looks like when it comes to agentic tool use, so just as a straight up AI agent doing things on your computer, it is ahead of the competition, but still behind Sonnet 4.5. Using your computer, it is still way ahead of the competition. Math, it is still behind GPT-5. Reasoning level behind GPT-5. But at the end of the day as well, you're not going to use a lightweight model like Haiku to do like advanced reasoning or anything like that. This is for doing quick tasks on your computer. But here's the real strength, right? It is a third of the price of Sonnet 4.5. So the people that have been using Claude Code and complaining about the price, you're now going to get three times the usage by using Haiku 4.5. And this, in my opinion, is really solving three things, which is one, Claude code's too slow. It is a little bit slow. It is slower than the competition at the moment. Haiku is significantly faster than Sonnet, so you're going to get way better performance. It, Claude code is the most expensive coding tool out there right now. This is the number one complaint I get looking at X or looking at anywhere else, or even the replies to all my videos is, I can't afford the $100. I can't afford the $200. Well, the good news is, is if you're using Haiku, you're going to get way, way, way more use usage. So you're going to get a lot more usage out of Claude Code. So it solves the Claude Code is too expensive problem. And then three, Anthropic really needed an agentic model. So everyone's building different AI agent frameworks. It seems like at the moment, Anthropic might be in the lead. The issue is the dream of an agent is to have it running 24 seven on your computer, like an employee doing different things for you. Sonnet, if you run that 24 seven, you're gonna be broke by the end of the week. It is just way too expensive. So they, Anthropic had the best harness for an agent with Claude Code, but they didn't have the right pricing model. You can't run Claude Code 24 seven. Now with Haiku, you get a lot closer to that goal because you have an affordable Anthropic model, finally. So how do you use Haiku? What's the right way to use Haiku here? Well, there's three different things. There's three different ways you wanna be using Haiku. One is chatting. So I have this test here. We're gonna do Sonnet 4.5 versus Haiku 4.5. I'm gonna put it in the same prompt. It's basically a prompt that says, hey, do research on AI stocks for me and find the best AI stocks to invest in. I'm gonna hit send on both. Here we go, boom, boom. Okay, there's like a 0.2 second delay between the two but you'll see how much faster Haiku is here. Uh, and you'll see how much faster you can get answers from this brand new model. So if you, like you can see here, it's already building it out here. We go, it's already done. Sonnet is still going. So this is just a lead for Haiku. Now, is the answer going to be as well thought out? No, it's going to be quicker. It's going to get to the point quicker. It's not going to use much reasoning. But as you can see here, Sonnet is still going. So if you need quick 
answers at the drop of a dime, haiku is going to be the way to go in the chat box. So when you're chatting now, think about how much complexity you need with the answers to your questions. Use haiku if you don't need much complexity because you'll save so much time. Two is for the API and light tasks. We talked about using AI agents in the past. I'm building out my own 24 seven employee right now on my computer. I want to doing work for me all the time. If you're, you, if you're a developer using the API at all and you need an AI to do light tasks, right? Create a document, move this around, reply to this email, draft a tweet for me. You're going to be using Haiku now because it's going to do those light tasks for so much cheaper. I spend thousands of dollars a month on the Claude API because it powers basically all the apps I build out. This is going to reduce my cost so much using the API. And then finally is Claude code execution. I very specifically say execution here. This is where the secret to using Haiku comes in. If you're a developer, which I imagine if you're watching this channel, you're a developer because all I do is talk about AI coding. As a side note, if you want more AI coding videos, make sure to leave a like and subscribe and turn on notifications right now. So many more cool products and announcements coming out very shortly here I'm gonna cover. But let's talk about using Haiku and Claude code because this is the secret this is where you're gonna get the most sauce. So I'm in Visual Studio Code, free to use, download it, link below. Uh, and then I'm gonna open up the Claude plugin, which is also free, so you can get that installed and start using it. What we're going to do here is we're gonna start using Haiku, but we're gonna use it strategically. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do slash model. Slash model allows you to select which model you're gonna use. And for this one, we're going to use Haiku. Here's what's going to happen when you use Haiku. And I think for a vast majority of use cases, this is what you wanna be doing. When you use Haiku and you select that in your slash model picker, what's going to happen is when you go into plan mode, which you do by doing shift tab, shift tab, you can see plan mode right there. A couple dynamic things are about to happen. When Claude plans out your app, it is going to actually use Sonnet to do the plan. So it's gonna build a very complex plan with Sonnet, but then it's going to do the execution with Haiku, which is a big advantage, because if you have a good plan, which Sonnet will create, Haiku can execute just as well as Sonnet, as long as you have that good plan. So let me show you how this works. Follow along if you wanna build an app with me. I'm gonna build you a really cool app right here, right now. So here's the prompt we're gonna use. I'll put it down below so you can build along with me, get a pretty cool app out of this. I wanna build out a Kanban board task management app. I want to be able to have a beautiful Kanban board with default columns of long-term, to-do, in-progress, completed. It should have beautiful animations and a nice look and feel that matches the screenshot attached, which I'll show you in a second. It should store the tasks locally for now and use Next.js. So I built out that prompt. I'm going to give it a screenshot, which you can see here, which I really like the aesthetic of this app. I found it on Twitter somewhere. I wish I can give credit, but I think it's just someone who copied and pasted a screen shot. I'm going to take this screenshot and paste it in here to the chat. You should always do this when you're building out an app because if you don't have like an inspiration screenshot, it's just going to build out that crappy purple and blue gradient aesthetic that everyone hates. So I always try to have a reference screenshot like that right there. I'm going to hit send on this and what it's actually going to do now is it will use Sonnet to build out this plan. So again, Sonnet being the one that's a little bit smarter and works a little bit harder is going to build a super detailed plan here, which I'm going to hit yes on and don't ask again. And then what it's going to do after is actually use Haiku to do the execution. And as long as you do that, as long as you have a smart model do the plan and kind of the dummy model doing the execution, you'll get the same results for like a fraction of the price. And this is where the strength of Haiku is going to come in, is the fact that we now have a cheap agentic model from Anthropic that can do tasks for cheap, get plans from the smarter models, but then do those tasks for a lot cheaper, which Anthropic desperately, desperately needed. So I'm going to show you what this plan looks like in a second, and then I'll show you how good Haiku is at building this out with one shot. But but this is how you want to start using Claude code moving forward, as long as you're not doing something incredibly, incredibly intensive. But if you're just a hobbyist or you're just building out an app and you need to save a little bit of money, this is the way to go, I promise. All right, looks like it is all done building. That was rather quick. I cut here a little bit just so you didn't have to sit here for a few minutes watching an AI work, but it got through these seven tasks in about three minutes or so, which is really good. I mean, this would typically probably take 10 to 15 minutes 
uh, with Sonnet or especially Opus. So this is good. Let's see what it did. Your features are ready for default comms. Okay, let's just check this out. Let's run it and see what this looks like. Oh, it even ran it for me automatically. All right, we'll go to localhost 3005. Let's see what this Kanban board looks like. All right, let's see what we got here. I'm going to pull this open. Looks pretty good. Let's see. Let's test out the function on here. That's a good looking Kanban board. Does it look like the screenshot we put in? No, but you probably need to reprompt this a few times to get it looking good. Let's add a task here. Edit this video. We'll hit add. Oh, that looks good. Well, I like the animations. I can click and drag it over. That's cool. That's a good looking app. One shot by a very cheap AI agentic model. Feel free to copy and paste the prompt down below if you want to build this Kanban board for yourself too. I always like using my own tools for organization because it just feels so much nicer to use. But that's the secret to using Haiku in Claude Code. And if you watch this channel, that's probably the most use you'll get out of it is using that model picker and switching it out over there. Again, you only need Sonnet for planning because it's so much more expensive. But from an execution perspective, Haiku is going to be just as good and save you a ton of money. But I am excited to keep using this model out for more news on what I do with it and everything and more updates on what Anthropics put out because we're going to get a lot of announcements this week, including a uh, little birdie is telling me a brand new potential Claude Code app coming out. We'll see. Make sure to hit subscribe so you get the latest updates on that. Turn on notifications. I also live stream a few times a week, so stop by for those. Those are a lot of fun. One last plug, link down below for my newsletter. Now the number... 14 largest tech newsletter on Substack. Link down below for that. It's called Ship It. You'll love it. See you in the next video.